Now, my next guest is a judge for Canada's Next Top Model, but in the beginning, she struggled to find her place in the modeling world. This is Stacey McKenzie. Hi, Stacey. Hi, Tara. <laughs> You got turned down by so many modeling agencies. Oh, yes. Um, I tried for about five years to find a modeling agency. I first started in New York. I went to all the agencies. I took a bus from Canada to New York wow. about three times. They all said no. I tried again in Canada. They all said no. For five years, I tried. Until my last time to New York, I went into a famous, a, a prestigious agency by the name of Elite Model Management. And there was this lady, I will never forget her, Karen Lee. Whew. Aww. The first time she saw me, she looked at me and she said, you're so beautiful. I've never had that. I've never heard that before. Mm -hmm. So for all those years of trying, not giving up and persevering, and to finally be in front of this lady in this big prestigious agency telling me, you're so beautiful, and I, you know, I want to represent you, and I'm going to fight for you. And she really did. She went into that office, and she... That woman fought for me, Tyra. She fought. Mm. I sat outside that office and I hear Karen telling the owner of the agency how amazing I could be, how amazing she thinks I am, how may, uh, all of, of the potentials that she feels that I have. And it was just ultimate. It was just ultimate. And when she came out of the office, she told me that... You're an elite girl. You're with elite. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I'm such a cool I, um, baby. I, I, I think it's a big lesson for everybody, not just people that want to be models, but, but no matter what you want to do in life, if you have a focus, I call it tunnel vision, and you're going to hear no constantly. I mean, in my modeling career, in my talk show career, in my producing career, we've all heard no. All of these women on this stage have heard no, but they went against that. And I think Stacy and all of us are a testament to that. You're going to hear it constantly, but say, huh, what? No, what? I don't know that word. I don't understand what that means. I don't know what that means. You're speaking a different language. We'll be right back.